Winry and Alcaeus, it's Nanny Suzanne, and it's bedtime reading with the desert animals. And tonight we're gonna look at hoppers and jumpers. Whoa, fascinating animals. So it says here bounding and hopping movements are well suited to the wide open spaces of the desert where there are few trees and bushes to get in an animal's way. Some tiny creatures just as gerbils or gerboas and kangaroo rats move just like miniature kangaroos. They hop on their two strong back legs instead of running on four legs. Most of these animals have a long tail that helps them keep their balance. So tonight, we're gonna start with the great gerboa. See this little guy here? That's who we're talking about. So it says, the back legs of the great gerboa, an excellent jumper, just like Winry and Alphaeus. Winry, did you see the video I said today? Remember the boop up, boop up on the couch? That was you jumping. That's what made me think of you today when I was reading this. So, it's an excellent jumper like you, Winry and Alphaeus. They are at least four times the size of its front legs. It eats seeds and insects and which it finds by comb, combing through the sand with the long claws on its front feet. Isn't that fascinating? So these gerboas, okay, they live in hot and cold deserts. They have a good sense of smell like hunter. Speaking of hunter, I'm gonna show you a picture. Oh, lost my spot here. Hold on, I'm gonna show you a funny picture, you know, hunter where you say stay and he obeys. There's Hunter obeying, he's got a treat on his head. And he's waiting for Nanny to say, okay, and then he grabs it. So good sense of smell like Hunter. Excellent hearing like Hunter. They live two to three years. Like that's how famous, how famous is gonna be three. That's how long they live, it's not very long. They're about two to six inches long. So this long to this long, okay? Depending on the different size. Um, and that doesn't include their tail. And look at the length of the tail. Look how long that is. That's a long tail. So, and their head and body, I'm gonna show you this because I want you to look. So their head and their body, looks like a mouse. Their whiskers are like a cat, like Nikki. And the big brown, big eyes are like owls. And their legs are like a kangaroo. They're a kind of funny, funny animal that God just put all these different things together. He said, oh, I'm gonna grab that from the kangaroo, that from the owl, that from the, from the dog, that from the mouse, and that from the cat. So, Here's a little one. It looks a little scary. Like somebody was taking his picture. Look at him. Look how tiny. He's probably a, a three inch one. Here's one running away. Look at him just like a kangaroo. Look at him running away, just hopping away. Look at this one. This is an odd one. Look at the ears on this. Do you see them? Look at the ears. Whoa, it's kind of spooky. So that's the gerboa. The next one we're going to look at is the desert kangaroo rat. Got a long tail too, look at that. They sleep by day and they come out at night, which makes them nocturnal. So they find seeds and insects to eat. Like hamsters, they have cheek pouches in which they carry food, just like a squirrel does to her. Chipmunk, chipmunk just stores all their nuts in the mouth. So they collect seeds. They're very good swimmers, like you, Alphaeus, and you, Winry. Very good swimmers. And you know what? You know how much you like bubble baths in the water? 
they don't take bubble baths, they take dust baths. So they're in the desert and they just throw the sand and the dust all over them. <laughs> and they get all clean. I don't know how clean they'd be, but that's how they take a bath. And here's one right here. Look at that cute little thing. Not very big, huh? All right, the next one is the black-tailed jackrabbit. He's the big guy here. Look at the ears. That's the black-tailed jackrabbit. Can hop along on its long, hot back legs as well as run fast on all fours. It can move at more than 35 miles an hour for short periods. So, they rest under shrubs during the day and at night. They're nocturnal, so they come out at night to feed. And they grow about twice as long as this. So this is one foot, two of these is about how long they grow. And Nanny and Grampy saw one at night. We were driving, a long time ago, we were driving in Texas. And we had the, the, the hood down from the car. We were driving on this country road. And then all of a sudden, this tall grass right there by the road was this jackrabbit sitting there. And as soon as we passed and I looked at it, it turned around and went running into the grass. That was the only time I ever saw a jackrabbit. So you asked mommy to show you a video after this, and you're gonna see a video of a jackrabbit. All right, the next one is the large North African gerbil. Look at the length of his tail too. My goodness, these animals have long tails. The large North African gerbil, long back legs and feet help it bound along and also keep its body well off burning sand in the desert. So they'd be in a hot desert. So they live like the gerbil, gerboa. They live about two to three years and their tail is half the length. So see, where are we? So here he is. So his tail is as long as his body. And do you know they're, when they're born, they're born deaf, which means they can't hear. They're born blind, which means they can't see, and they have no hair on them. Poor little Alice. Don't start out like in very good shape. Okay, the next one is this one here. And this says it's a wallaby. And a wallaby lives in forest. But this spectacle hair wallaby spends its life in the Australian desert. Remember like rescue down under with the two mice that go rescue the child? I think it's a little boy or a girl. And that's where the wallabies live, down under in Australia. It eats the few tough spiny plants that grow there. There's not a lot of plants that grow in the Australian desert. So that's where they eat. And so they eat grass, fruit, and shrubs. And I have two pictures to show you. So let's see. Oh, oh, I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Oh, I had a picture of a jackrabbit. Nanny's trying to. Okay, wallaby. <laughs> Nanny forgot her pictures. Here's a jackrabbit. Look at this guy here. Wait, hold on. I'm going to put him this way because he's much bigger. Look at the ears on him. Isn't that funny? And there's two of them fighting. They're like, put up your dukes. We're gonna have a fight. That's like, is that like you, Winry and Alphaeus? You don't fight that way, do ya? Here's a wallaby. Look, it kind of looks like a kangaroo, but it's not as tall. The legs aren't as long, but that's a wallaby. And here's another wallaby. Wait, I can't <laughs> these are wallabies. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. See, a wallaby and a kangaroo kind of look the same. I think it's a kangaroo. So we'll wait for this for the kangaroo. The kangaroo is the next animal. So guess what? Although a red kangaroo is bigger than a grown-up human like mommy or daddy, 
Its baby is only an inch long when it's born. You know how long to, so a human, a, an adult kangaroo is as tall as daddy, but when they're born, they're only this long. Huh, they do a lot of growing in their lives. So the female kangaroo carries this tiny baby in the pouch at the front of her body as she bounds along on strong back legs. So, the young kangaroo will sometimes, when it's scared, and you'll see this, I've got a video, so you make sure you ask mommy for a video, the kangaroo jumps in the pouch head first, and then its feet are sticking out, and it's trying to move its feet around, and it's so funny. All right, let me show you a picture of a kangaroo. So, <laughs> look at this kangaroo. He was probably directing traffic, or he's doing his stretches. Isn't that cute? And this one is just plain saying, I'm chilling here. I'm relaxing. Look at that. And then this is one with the baby inside. There. Okay, so, and there's a video. So I told you about a video. So there's already a video of the jackrabbit, and then there's a video of the kangaroo, and then we've got the grasshopper mouse. So here's the little grasshopper mouse. Catches scorpions because they can't, the venom of a scorpion can't kill them. They're immune to it and other insects to eat, but may sometimes attack other mice. So Nanny also sent you a video. Oh, somebody's calling her. So Nanny already also sent you a video, and you'll see that this grasshopper mouse, I thought of mummy when I saw it, because it's a mama grasshopper mouse that is protecting her little babies. Because the centipede, you know, a centipede that's long and it has 100 legs, it's coming to take her babies, and she goes on the attack. Wow. So this is a cute little picture of a grasshopper mouse, and look how cute it is. And then, this is one that's singing, Hallelujah! Look, isn't that cute? It's a singing one. All right, so that's it. That's my story tonight. So I hope you had a great day. Here it was beautiful. You see, Nanny was outside. She went for a long walk with Alfea at lunch hour, and look, she's getting sunburned. And so it's like thirty plus here. It's like thirty-five degrees today. It's gonna be like that all week. So Nanny went out, she watered her flower gardens and watered all of her plants. She's got little flowers coming out. They're starting to come out of the ground. It's so cute. And uh, so I hope you had a fun day. And um, tonight as you go to bed, well, we always pray that God watches over you and he places his angels to watch over you as you're sleeping. You have sweet dreams and I'll face a good, good night's sleep so mommy and daddy can have a good night's sleep. And Winry and I'll Theus in your bunk beds, and and um, tomorrow is Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, and I hope you get to play with friends, and that you learn lots, and uh, I'm still waiting for my video of you, Winry, reading a book to Nanny, because I would love to see that. So I hope you liked last night's video with the snake, the sidewinder going along. I don't know if you tried that on the carpet, but that was kind of funny. So, anyway. Nanny sends you oodles of kisses to Monty, Alphaeus, and Winry, and Nanny, Susanna, and Grampy, and Uncle Michael, and Nana over in the mirror. We love you so very much, and you're so precious to us, and you're precious to God. And that's why you're precious to us, because we know how much he loves you, and we know that he gave you to us as a gift, so we love God for giving you to us as a gift. So sweet dreams tonight.